Hi y'all. Welcome to my Periscope. It's Wednesday. Wednesday at Walmart. Anybody ready for some wisdom? There's some three W's for you. Hi Sandy. Hi Renee. Hi everybody. How's it going today? Hi Megan. Okay y'all. I know what your gift is. I know what your gift is. <laughs> Anybody curious what your gift is? I know everybody's curious uh, today. It is a gorgeous day, Susan. We are drinking it up, Megan. We are because uh, it's awesome. It's Wednesday and it's just a week before Christmas, a week and a couple of days before Christmas. Hi, Tracy. Thanks for joining. Hey, how's everyone doing? This is a lot of fun. So I'm going to periscope with you and I want to tell you guys about your gift. Oh, good. Jim Bob isn't on. Yeah, he's on. He knows I'm on at noon and nine. Okay, you're here there with Andy Ball. Hi, Andy. Cool. That's right. Y'all are all in Fresno. That's awesome. So, um, okay, guys, I know what your gift is. Do you want to know? Anybody want to know? Come on. Thumbs up. Raise your hands. Do something. Uh, he'll be on at 8.30. Okay. Well, then later we'll catch Jim Bob. <laughs> He's awesome. Love Jim Bob. Okay, you guys. And I also have to thank everyone for watching the replay, by, by the way. So, Mom, you want to know your gift? Sonny, you want to know your gift? Oh, good. My mom just joined, too. And hello from L.A. Okay, y'all. Here's your gift. Are you ready? It's your story. My husband gave the world a gift last January. And this entire year... He has thrived like no other year. Why? Because he finally gave the gift of his story. Each one of you have a story. You each have a story. You each have a life story. Something that you have been through, that you have gone through, that you have, that you've, you know, survived. By, by the way, do y'all know that you have all survived 100% of your bad days? It's true. You've all survived 100% of your bad days. And the gift that you have to give this world is your story of how to get through those tough days. Because you know what? You did it. You're on the other side. You've survived. Yeah, I mean, your life's not over. So we're figuring this out as we go, day in and day out. But you know, my husband gave literally thousands of people a very special gift last January whenever he told his story. He wrote it out and he told it and he put it out there on the internet. And literally, Literally thousands of people, and I'm sure way beyond that, have read his story. And you know, that was such a gift. That's a gift that he gave to himself. And it's a gift that he gave to others. It's ultimately a gift that we give to God because when we give God ourselves and our complete vulnerability, that's where the connection lies, okay? So so look, when we love God and we trust him and we are so vulnerable that we are our pride is just gone. Our pride is gone. It's it's out of here. It's done. No more pride. I'm just going to be vulnerable and tell my story. So when you tell your story, yeah, that includes your failures. That includes, you know, all those tough things that you have gone through. It's the good, the bad, the ugly, and mostly the bad and the ugly that people relate to. But whenever you do that, it is a gift. It's a gift because that's that vulnerability is the key to connection. So that's what connects you to God. That's ultimately what connects you to yourself. That's what we call self-awareness in emotional intelligence. Self-awareness. And then you can connect to others. So it is the gift. That is your thing, y'all. That's the whole point. That's why. That's what's going to help things go forward circle in your life whenever you can tell your story and then you give God yourself and others the gift of your story you guys all have a story I don't know what it is but you need to you need to really start owning it and you need to give it as a gift to others so this year 2016 and maybe even for Christmas you guys will give that gift of your story so that you can bless other people and and have that have that connection so you can help others get through stuff just like you've gotten through stuff that's your gift okay so I don't know what your thing is well like Susan your thing is health nutrition weight loss so there's your story you can't be afraid to put those before pictures out there so that people can know what the after is right so um, your night shield has a hard time she says she doesn't really have one yes she does you know what we all have a story no I'm actually sitting in the parking lot at Walmart grandma we all have a story and you know what? Some people, listen, here's how you know your story. And tell your 19-year-old this. 
write it down. Now I see a lot. In fact, I, I was with it in my office just this morning with a 23 year old. Okay. And, uh, yesterday I was working with a five year old and a six year old. So I'm a marriage and family counselor and also an ordained Christian minister for those of you who don't know me. And I work with people of all ages. Everybody has a story of however old you are. And I always tell people, write your story in five-year sections. So zero to five years old, five to 10, 10 to 15, okay? And then her case, it would be 15 to 19. So, so whatever it is, she needs to write it out and she needs to write out details. Now there's things she hasn't told. Now in that story, she needs to include, okay, for it to be a story, you've got to be fully vulnerable. She needs to include every heartbreak, every disappointment, the highs and the lows, so the good memories, the bad memories. She needs to include her sexual history. You might say, oh, maybe she hasn't been with anyone. Oh yes, she's got a sexual history already because um, kids are usually sexualized in the world that we live in today, even before they're five years old. Like the first time they see someone naked, the first time they, um, oh, maybe, I mean, hopefully no abuse, you know, but a lot of people's lives abuse is part of their story. Or the first time they even knew the difference between a boy and a girl, they start with their sexual history, their work, their way through that. They have a story about where they used to be, where they're going to. They have a story. Hopefully there's a story of like, like if you're a Christian, you have a story of I was blind and now I see. You have a story of your struggle and the struggle is real. The struggle could be with weight. The struggle could be with addiction. The struggle could be with your sexuality the struggle could be with your identity whatever but there's always a struggle and there's and, and if you feel like you don't have a story well you know you don't have as much of a story as you will when you get to be an adult but there's some sort of struggle and when the struggle is talked about and your story is out there you're able to connect with other people better because you're willing to talk about your struggle now mom a gift that you can give to yourself is you begin to own your story, own your struggle, and then you talk to your daughter about your struggles. So y'all, very often, our kids don't even know our stories. Our kids don't know our struggles. Our struggles with food, with addiction, with sexuality, with anything. Our kids don't know our testimony. They don't know our failures. They don't know our struggles. So if your kids don't know your struggle, give them the gift of that and tell them where you used to be and how you struggled and how you've overcome. That's your gift. And remember, that's the connection that you need. It's so amazing the way that that works. So that's your gift. Okay, that is it. Now, I don't know what your thing is, but very often, wherever your struggle has been, that's going to be the thing that you become passionate about. Sometimes people have struggled with pregnancy. Um, um, Brittany's friend, Lauren, struggled with infertility. So now she does periscopes about infertility. So because of telling her story, she now is helping others through the struggle of infertility. Uh, if the struggle has been um, marriage problems, you get through it, you talk with others and you help them through their struggle. If your struggle has been parenting uh, a, a, a child that has had special needs or that's been unhealthy or that's had health challenges or that's had behavior challenges, whatever it is, like you, Brittany, you've had a struggle, so now you can share your struggle. Okay, unplanned pregnancies, three generations, there you go. So maybe that's gonna be your thing where you wanna share your struggle with others. So get involved in pregnancy centers. Uh, if you, We live here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area in Texas and get involved, embrace grace is an incredible ministry of a girl that because of a pregnancy out of wedlock, then whenever she got through that struggle, she wanted to go back, help people, that's right, Embrace Grace, help people like Amy does, get through her struggle. So her story, Amy's story, is her gift to you. It's your gift to your daughter. It's her gift. So whatever the struggle is, sometimes the struggle is unhealthy relationships. Sometimes, you know, whatever the struggle is, everyone has gone through a struggle. So um, that's right. She helped her 23-year-old. So no matter what the struggle is, that is your gift. So if you've never shared your struggle, and we talked about Jim Bob all the time. Boy, he's so open to share his struggle. He shares his marriage struggles. He shares his struggles of losing a baby, losing a child. He's very open. He and Cindy are open to share their struggles. Okay, they haven't always been that way. There was a time in their life that they wanted to pretend that everything was awesome and they were just almost perfect. Well, no, they're so willing to share their struggles. And when they share their struggles, it's their story that's a gift to God, a gift to themselves, and a gift to others. So that is the deal. Whenever you struggle and you have that story to tell, hey, 
share it that's the gift that you guys have so I have to tell you when you start giving your gift like my husband just did this year the gift comes back to him it's like bread on the water right grandma right mom you put it you put it out there and it comes back to you and it comes back pressed down shaken together and running over is the gifts that you've give that's right and you you overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of your testimony so that's what brings it full circle is when you are willing to tell your testimony so you sharing your story that is your gift there's your testimony now remember you only have today right so yesterday is history tomorrow's a mystery but today is the present is a gift that's why they call it the present so today is a gift that's why they call it the present you guys start today start today writing your story when you are such a good writer your story is such a gift to people because you're such a good writer so start today writing your story telling your story and making a decision that you're going to embrace that gift okay so don't be mad about your story anymore y'all quit being mad about it it is what it is you know it's not good or bad it just is what it is but share it share your story Wendy because people need to hear it girl you encourage so many people you can encourage people that I can't encourage because your story is different than mine everybody has a story I don't care I don't care who you are where you are you have a story and that story is what's gonna make it real for you um you guys this is gonna be the game changer in your life this is it this is it the vulnerability to to own your story and to tell it this is the game changer this is a gift and if you haven't fully unwrapped it yet it's time you unwrap this gift for yourself you unwrapped it and you give it back to God you give it back to others and this is gonna be what's gonna change your life so there you go y'all Merry Christmas give a gift to yourself and own your story and start telling your story so God bless you guys thanks for periscoping with me at noon today I've got gifts to finish purchasing I've got gifts to wrap and I just wanted to let you know this the enemy can't keep you hostage that's right that and that's the neatest thing uh, Wendy is whenever you live in the light and you own your story he has nothing on you it's amazing because you're an overcomer so there is no shame left and you're already free from guilt so that is all a happy ending to your story right that's awesome that's the icing on the cake of your gift so God bless you guys and thanks for periscoping with me start today today's the present so start today God bless you guys bye bye Bye.